Hi there, Norm Follett coming to you from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona, Spain. Here we're showing people that are attending the event how Hewlett Packard Enterprise is accelerating their success from the edge to the cloud. So right here we're featuring our IoT Edge Solutions, again focused on what we're doing with the Edgeline 4000 and our very big announcement around the Edgeline 8000. This particular case we're talking about a retail demonstration that's doing a variety of different video analytics, all again powered at the edge, and in this case that solution is being shown by the EL4000. HP's Edgeline EL4000 is a ruggedized chassis system that holds four compute cartridges, each acts as a individual compute node with capability of GPU acceleration and FPGA acceleration. We have here a heat map for people traffic analysis for the two demo table, one right here and the other one right here. Um, the camera feeds are from top of the booth. So what we're seeing here is that the blue uh, color region represents um, people standing around, people aggregations. The red region shows people traffic or more of a people movement. This is essentially head and shoulder detection with people counting graphically represented on the uh, unified UI. Customized shopping experience demo using a soft checkout kiosk. Uh, what happened is when I take this shirt or when a customer takes a shirt and walks up to a self checkout kiosk station, uh, it will trigger the app and allow the cameras to detect the demographic information of the customer. It will be able to tell the age group and gender of the customer. And the customized experience for this portion of the demo is that it will play a background music that's suitable to that demographic group. And furthermore, that shopping data is then updated in the overview UI, which the revenue generated information uh, is displayed on the uh, overview page and the product rating is, can be displayed in the inventory page. But this is where we made another big announcement talking about our partnership with Continental and the solution that we talked about monetizing data in a blockchain based implementation. Most uh, car manufacturers are sharing data only uh, in silos, so with its, its, its own drivers. So the, the good thing would be if data could be shared between OEMs, between car manufacturers, to get better and higher quality services. So as you see, normally you have your navigation system here, and you see the route, but just the route information. So what you easily can do, you can opt in with our little application, and then you get immediately more information for your service. But it's, it's only limited. Why is it only limited? Because Little example, as a Ferrari driver, there are not many Ferraris driving around collecting data. But maybe in this city, there are a lot, of, a lot more Volkswagens driving around. And therefore, maybe it's valuable for Ferrari to buy Volkswagen data to increase the service. First of all, I can preview it. And you can see there are much more information of the, on the road. If I want to buy that, I can easily subscribe to this service. And then you can see there's a lot more data points, a lot more cars driving around collecting data and providing this data uh, for the service. And as you can also see immediately, the service is much better. You get more information. You have the echo planning information, exactly where it is, so the, the driver is informed. So while sharing this data over an independent market platform, the service for the, for the manufacturers can be improved better and much more and better and better.